one. Welcome in, Husker Extra Two Minute Drill. We're back, Simple. How about that? We're back. Uh, not How's really. I mean, football season's a long way off, but Nebraska had its uh, pre spring ball news conference via Zoom. Um, going forward, it sounds like we're going to be in person for the most part. So that'll be uh, interesting as the spring goes along. But yeah, we heard from a bunch of people today just to sort of I set the stage, I guess. Um, Nebraska, the team has gathered again. The first practice of spring officially is tomorrow, uh, 15 or 14 practices leading up to the spring game on May 1st. So today we heard from uh, Scott Frost, both coordinators and oh, five players, I think. So a lot of ground to cover. Simple, I guess the natural starting point is it's the first time we've heard from Frost since the, uh, as, as history will write it, the Oklahoma kerfuffle a few weeks ago. Um, what did you take away from that? And, and yeah, I guess, what, what, what did you gather from, from Scott on that front? Uh, Frost didn't dodge the question at all. I mean, he kind of had talking points, I thought, and he talked about, you know, that he, he is, what he said was consistent with what we've heard from Bill Moose and that Nebraska's looked for revenue streams. Right. So, so instead of playing at Oklahoma, the idea would have been to play another home game. Um, there's always the talk of having to ax sports um, and Nebraska hasn't had to do that. Um, but that's part of the revenue stream discussion that Frost brought up. Yeah. So he didn't, I mean, he, now he was asked directly where, who's kind of like whose idea it was, where right. did it start? And he, he said he didn't remember exactly. Now, you know, there's a lot of people that are involved. Those There are a lot of people involved in those discussions. So who knows where it started, Parker? Yeah, but he, he, he sort of, I thought he laid out pretty clearly also what he thought about the, the one home. I thought what stood out was the, he's still very interested in adding a home game. And he said he was in support of any move that would allow them to have a home game earlier in the schedule or an extra home game, which is pretty clear. I mean, along that line of thinking, like it sounds an awful lot like he was among the people that entertained the idea of moving that. Absolutely. Home. You know, so yeah. that, so I thought that that was a, maybe not exactly a direct answer, but a pretty clear context clue that he was, he was part of that conversation to not, um, to, to get out of that Oklahoma game. And then he also, as you might imagine, sort of waxed poetic about, growing up with the Nebraska Oklahoma rivalry and said that his guys weren't going to shy away from that game that they wanted to play, that they're excited to play it. Um, and that he thinks it's, he said it was his favorite rivalry in sports. So um, that all, I mean, I don't know how often that topic of conversation will come back up now um, until September 18th, at least, but we at least heard from, from Frost on that front. Also heard from Frost on the special teams front. He said that, um, they're going to make Mike Dawson, the outside linebackers coach, the special teams coordinator. He'll sort of be the point person on the full-time staff in, in coverage and in, um, in the return game. And then he sort of indicated that Greg Austin and Tony Tuioti, the two line coaches, would handle, um, you know, field goal and field goal block. So an answer there at least. Um, and, and then – he, he talked about Bill Bush, the new analyst, and obviously a familiar name in Nebraska circles is mostly a defensive analyst, but certainly seems like there's a possibility that he'll be involved uh, in the special teams to some degree, too. Yeah, you just hope if you're, excuse me, if you're a Nebraska fan, you hope there's more emphasis. Yeah. Mm, or, okay. Now, the we one just hope question it's better, I did. Right? I mean, you just hope it's better. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, Parker, I didn't, add, I froze up. You know, we have these moments as journalists where we freeze up. I didn't, I asked Frost a question, but I wanted to follow up and say, has special teams been emphasized enough? Yeah. Um, I didn't ask Frost that question. I guess that'll be next time we talk. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It. it I guess it's, we have an answer. Um, and that's good. And that's a, let's just put it this way. That's a good starting point. Yeah. Austin Allen, I thought his comment was interesting. We heard from him and, and he said, he, he felt like he said they've had a couple meetings about it already. And that he felt like the attention to detail in that area was better than it's been in the past. So 
on March 29th, you know, take that for, for what that's worth. Um, rapid fire, a couple other things. Um, simple, I thought it was interesting talk, you know, Frost and Matt Lubick talking about Samari Ture, the grad transfer receiver. Um, they're going to start him off in the slot, which I think um, makes for a lot of interesting opportunities. And we can get more into that um, down the way, but it's not difficult to uh, imagine a starting trio of, of three guys that are 6'2 or bigger, um, you know, with Ture playing in the slot and sort of moving around. So I thought that was interesting. And then also, it sounds like later this week, we're going to get um, some performance index testing results, sort of an old school uh, move by Nebraska. They're going to publish or publicize um, some of that data. Frost had a couple of uh, data points off the top of his head. Uh, he said that Oliver Martin, another guy in the receiver con conversation, had a 40-inch vertical jump. And he said that Deontay Williams broke the Nebraska all-time record in a shuttle drill or an agility running drill, which yeah, agility you're drill. talking about some agility pretty drill. agile dudes that have played football at Nebraska over the course of time. Oh, that's a really – I mean, that is – a. I mean, if you're Deontay Williams, you feel really good about that. I mean, that's, a, that's an amazing accomplishment for him. You know, a guy that's battled knee injuries – He's, he's obviously a leader on that defense and he to do that in the winter, you know, at the close of winter conditioning is a, is a strong leadership move. We've jumped right into regular season mode here where we've gone way over two minutes on a two minute drill, but I would just point out along that performance index testing, which is going to get a lot of run, I think in terms of coverage, we'll do it. I think a lot of other people will too, especially when the results come out, but I thought it was interesting that Cam Jurgens, who obviously is an in-state guy, um, knows the history of the program and all of that. He said he, he thought of it as affirming in a way to put up numbers and then see how they compare to guys that have done it in the past. And obviously, you know, players have gotten bigger and stronger and more explosive. The technology is different and all of that. But like, I, I thought, I just thought that that was an interesting, he, he thought of it as a motivational tactic from the coaching staff, not only in the sense of like, hey, we're going to put these numbers out in the public, but also to be able to say, like, I've got numbers that I can see stack up with guys that have done this before and that won a lot of football games. So why can't we also win a lot of football games? And I, I'm not saying that that's what's going to get him to the Rose Bowl, but I just thought that that was an interesting sort of like um, thread that I hadn't really thought of before. Oh, it's a really no, that I wouldn't. I mean, come on, Parker, that stuff's important. I mean, that I think that I thought that was really interesting that they put it that way, that those numbers stack up with some of the best players to come through here. That's absolutely motivating. And you know what else it does, Parker? It, it reduces the excuse. I mean, you right. just, yeah. there's no excuse. You got, you got enough talent to win, do it, do, do it. it. But that's on the coach. That's on the coaches too. Parker. Yep. There you go. We're off and running. Um, first spring practice for Nebraska's tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday. We're going to hear from some assistant coaches uh, over at Memorial stadium on Wednesday should be pretty much for the most part as we go through spring here uh, twice a week where we'll have availability to talk to coaches and players. So you'll be seeing our ugly mugs regularly for the month of April. Uh, for Sipple, I'm Parker. See you on Wednesday.